Hey, what's up guys? It's Intel here. So I've been playing a lot of ranked recently, just trying to get better at the game. And one of the things that I've sort of found out by playing a lot of ranked is just how important pearls are in this game. So if you've ever fought me in ranked, you'll know that I use a ton of pearls in a single match. And that's for good reason, because I feel like pearls are definitely one of the most underrated utilities in pop PvP or PvP in general, if you can just get your hands on them. And it really surprises me that in ranked matches, people only use like one or two pearls the entire fight, when every pearl you can essentially just get free hits from. And I'm telling you, it makes so much of a difference that even people who are like better than me and just like PvP, I will sometimes win against just because like I know how to use pearls to win fights. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over pretty much all the ways you can utilize pearls in this game to give you an advantage in PvP. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go over some pre-recorded clips that I have set out and basically show you guys what I'm doing and why I did so. All right, so I have a few clips over here that show what I'm doing with my pearls that makes me a better player and I'm going to show them and dissect them in a bit but before that I want to just explain sort of the concept of using pearls to get free hits in the first place and in order to explain that concept I've decided to make a little diagram just to sort of show what I'm talking about so uh, right here you can see this uh, I know I'm very artistic but let's say you have two players and they're going to hit trade with each other so this player right here is at 10 hearts and this player is at 7.5 hearts and let's say they go ahead and they hit trade uh, none of them gets a combo uh, but common sense dictates that this player with lower health he's gonna have to turn around first to a pot and that's completely normal and if they're at this sort of like length space away from each other then this player right here isn't gonna get any hits on uh, isn't gonna get any extra hits on the other player he's gonna turn and pot and then they're gonna go back and re-engage in a trade so yeah that's pretty self-explanatory but let me show you what you can do with a pearl all right, so we have another diagram right here, and these two players are once again hit trading with this player being higher health. And let's say that during the hit trade, this player right here decides to pearl. And because he pearled, they're still hit trading, but they're a much closer distance away from each other, as you can see. So this player, he's at two hearts, he's about to die, and he's going to turn around. And because this player is right in front of this player's face, when he goes and turns around to pot... While, while he's doing that, this player can go ahead and get free hits on him while he's doing that because he's within his range. And that's the whole big idea when it comes to pearls, is that when you use them, if you have more health than the other player, you can reduce the distance between both players, and when the other player goes and turns around to heal, you can just get free hits on them when they do that. Alright, so I don't know how helpful these whole diagrams were to explaining the whole concept that I just described. In reality, I sort of just wanted to draw me destroying Marcel, so let's go ahead and go into actual footage so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. So you can see we're just hit trading right now. Okay, so this is where it all starts. So I went and turned around to double pot, and that makes me at pretty much full health. So I, I know for a fact that right now I have more health than the other player right there. So we're going to go and keep hit trading. He only potted once. He didn't double pot. So I know for a fact that I have more health than him right now. So while hit trading, I go ahead and pearl right there. And what that does is it pretty much guarantees that I'm going to be right in this guy's face for the remainder of the trade. So if I go ahead and keep playing, you can see when he goes and turns around, I get three extra hits on him. So I'm going to go ahead and keep playing the footage because I'm pretty sure I have an, uh, another example of me doing something similar. Alright, so right now, I'm pretty much at full heart. So we started sort of away from each other. I'm pretty confident that this guy isn't completely healed up like I am. So I go ahead and eat. I'm at now full uh, food and full hearts. So I go into trade and I'm confident that right now I have more health than this guy right here. So we're trading. Right now I get a little combo on him and I pearl right there. And this is while this guy is potting right now. So I'm going to get go ahead and get one, two, three, four extra hits on him just from that one pearl. So that's how you essentially use pearls to just get more hits on other players. All right, so let's go ahead and play another clip and I can explain it. So right here, I went ahead and full, uh, healed up to full hearts. I know for a fact that I am more health than this player right here because he only single potted. We're going to go into trade. We're trading. I get a little bit of a combo on him. Uh, he's going to pearl for me, and that's a really bad move on his part. You don't want to pearl on someone when you have less health than them. So I know he's about to turn around to pot. So right when I anticipate that he's going to turn to pot, I go ahead and use a pearl. And you can see right here, he turned. I get two extra hits on him. 
And that's pretty much the end of the clip. How you use pearls for extra hits is making sure that you have more health than the other player and then when you pearl on them to reduce the gap between them, you know that they're gonna turn around first so you are going to be able to get hits from them on the back. So another thing you can do with pearls is pot and pearling, and this is a little more complex, so I'm just gonna go through this clip and show you what I mean, but first, so keep in mind that right now I'm nine hearts, and I'm pretty sure this guy is on full HP right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play the clip. So yeah, we're trading, but I sort of know that I'm going to have to heal first because that guy was on full HP. So I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna double splash, and I know that he's going to have to do the exact same thing pretty soon because now he's lower health than me. So I double splash and I pearl immediately after. So I'm right in front of this guy's face. There's nothing he can do about it. So when we're trading some more, I now have more health than him. And I'm going to go ahead and get free hits on him from that. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole concept of pot and pearling. But yeah, the whole big idea, once again, I cannot stress this enough, is that you use pearls to get in front of people's faces. You, you want to use them so that you are right next to them, and you want to make sure that you have more health than them, so when they go to pot, you can get free hits on them. That's the whole purpose of pearling, and that's why it's so important. You can get so many free hits from people in trades if you just use your pearls. It's just really, really good. Another way you can use pearls is in a more defensive manner. So I have a clip right here, and this is my fight with DJ Thread, but I'm just gonna essentially just walk through this clip and show just uh, what I do and why I do it. So right now, uh, we're about to trade. Go in for the trade, and he go ahead and pots, and he pots while I'm not able to get another hit on him, so he has more health than me now. Um, which is sort of bad. He's winning the trade. So I know. So he goes ahead and pots again. So now he has like way more health than me. And I know that when I'm going to turn around right here to pot, he's just going to get hits on me from, from the back. He's going to 1.7 me. So I turn around and instead of just going and potting and just getting 1.7, I just pearl away. And that's sort of what you want to do. If you're getting comboed, uh, you don't really want to just let the person combo you. A lot of the times it's just really better to just pearl out of the combo. So I know in that example he did get two hits on me while I was pearling away, but uh, if I hadn't pearled away and I went and healed, he probably would have gotten a lot more. He, w he probably would have gotten like three or four hits on me uh, just for free. What you don't want to do is you don't want to try to pearl to the other side of the map and just like chuck a pearl just as far as possible. No, you want to pearl somewhere nearby because if you just throw a, a pearl and like try to go to the other side of the map, then that's going to take a while for the pearl to land. The other player is going to be able to get a lot of free hits on you, so it won't be worth the pearl at all. So when you use a pearl defensively like this, just make sure you use it uh, in, a, in a close by location so it registers quickly and you're able to escape the combo and escape the 1.7s fast enough and just heal yourself up. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for pearls. Uh, if you use pearls like that, then I, I'm telling you, it will make a huge noticeable difference, especially in ranked fights when people are all sweating. Uh, pearls are just so big with getting free hits, and I, I've said this before, but getting free hits is just a huge part of playing this game, especially when you get to a higher skill level where mostly everyone knows how to combo, they know how to do just the basic PvP mechanics, and it just comes down to having better game sense, and this is part of just having better game sense within this game. The ability to recognize your health compared to the other player's health allows you to play so much smarter, and allows you to make a lot better decisions when it comes to fighting people just in Minecraft combat. But yeah everyone that's pretty much about it for this video. If you guys have any questions I will be free to answer them in the comments because I really want to make sure that everyone understands this topic because pearls are so underrated and it's just so easy to get better at the game just by having just a little bit of game sense like this to be able to improve.